Hello, I'm Argama Witch, and I'm going to explain to you how to set up for being a VTuber. I'm going to show you with the program that I use, and maybe with an alt program. But for the most part, this is how it how it works. So, you've just gotten yourself this uh, BRM that you may have downloaded or commissioned from me or somebody else. Or maybe you made it yourself. And you also downloaded a program. I'm going to show you how to use Luppet, because that's the program that I use. Um, you're going to go download the program and unzip it. And when you do, you'll have this folder. Um, this is currently version 1.9.2. Once you open it, you'll get something that looks like this. And you're going to go into Luppet Data and then Streaming Assets. And you'll see an empty folder here. It might be a character in here or something already, but usually it's fairly empty. And then you just drop in your VRM that you want to use. Easy peasy. Uh, you'll then go into uh, Luppet EXE and you're going to want to make sure that your uh, camera is on your webcam. And you're going to have to log in. If you have the sample version or the demo version then that's fine. And here you're set, you'll see where we have our um, model. And there I am. We have uh, the expression keys here in which you can toggle certain things and change if you want them to toggle on off or if it's just going to be a press of a button uh, and which button does you want for which settings. There's also a system settings as well and you can change the language in there. It's fine. Um, you select your camera and we start with the model. The tracking is going to be a little weird on mine because my webcam is not facing this uh, particular um, screen. But here you go. Um, so we have a few options on the side and here's a little preview of what we're working with. If you uh, grab with the right mouse key, you can move around and the scroll wheel zooms in and out. Um, and just kind of doing its own thing right now. All right, so you can choose a background color because let's say you have green in yours, you might want to have like a blue background or a pink background or, you know, whatever. You can also uh, load in a background. I'm sorry, you can load in a background with this open folder because I'm dumb, forgive me. So here is a, um, just a random background image. So if we zoom in, you can see that there is a background image back there. But we're gonna clear that image. I keep it at green because we're gonna end up chroma keying it out. All right. Um, then we're gonna, you can adjust brightness, which is you know your character's brightness. There's also bloom, but uh, I find that if we're gonna use Streamlabs, which is what I'm gonna show you with the bloom effects, kind of gets a little screwy in there. Lighting, you know, to adjust the lighting of your character. I have it turned off for mine, so it's not going to work. This is to calibrate your webcam. Make sure you're facing your webcam or wherever you want your character to be facing forward when you calibrate it. Uh, it takes like five seconds, hold still. Um, there's leap motion settings. If you have a leap motion, uh, you'll want to attach that towards your chest and you'll uh, drag and drop this to where you want it your character's hands to match. I'm not going to explain how to set up a loop motion. There's plenty of tutorials on that out there. Uh, this explains again, like, you know, how to, how to do and the drag, the rotate, no, twist, uh, lip syncing. You can have it based off of camera where when it sees your mouth, uh, move on camera, it moves it. Or you can have it based off of the audio. Uh, there is a little bit of a delay as you can kind of see here, uh, but it's not so bad. Like they've been getting better at, at fixing this. Uh, and then advanced character settings is adjusting the shoulder angles. And then I don't even know why that's there. Uh, this is also for leap motion. So how far away it is, like the hands are from each other in the center. And then they have uh, a few features, which is like a snapshot. So you can just take a picture. Um, you can uh, rotate it. So if you're going to use it for like a phone or a phone style video, um, you can flip it. So that way uh, it mirrors your motions, which is usually what I do. 
Um, and then like uh, recognize phase every with every two frames to reduce CP. So you can kind of do that. So if just fills in the blanks, I guess so. Um. So so yeah. And then when you're ready, you just hit escape and you have your your thing all nice and big right here. So yay, here we are. All right. Next thing you're going to need to use is like um, a streaming thing. I have Streamlabs OBS, and I'm currently using it to record, but we're also going to use it to show you other things, I think. I don't know if this will work or not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use it right on here so you can see it. So we're gonna we got this little like inception shit going on here, so forgive me. Um what we what you're gonna want to do, as you see I have like a whole bunch of things over here. Um you're going to want to Add. You're going to want to do, 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 do window capture. I'm going to do a new source since I already actually have one in there, and we're just going to call it uh, do, re record test because that's what we're doing here. <laughs> All right, and so we've added the source, um, and then we select what we want, and we want. All right, yeah. Sorry. Right, sometimes when you do automatic, it does. Uh, I don't know. I always pick the Windows gra graphic capture because it doesn't look up like it does. All right. So anyway, so here we have uh, my face on screen, and now let's say we want to get rid of the uh, the background. I'm gonna have to go over here so you can still see this. We'll try to make it a little bigger. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Alright, we'll move my face here. There we go. I'm up here now. Right click. There we go. Uh, and we're going to want to do, 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 do filters. Make sure that you can see this. Yep. We're going to apply. And there's a bunch of different things you can apply here. And we're going to do chroma key. And done. Uh, it defaults to green, but you can select any which one you want. And if you have a custom one, you can select it from here. Um, cool. yeah, and then when you're done, you're, you're done. And then you take your, your face and you shove it in the bottom corner and then you do your game capture, which again is just a, a plus and then you want a game capture, add source, game, to add it in. So now we have a game capture, which I already had one, but we have a new one. We're going to put it underneath uh, our record test, which is uh, this right here, which is my model, uh, because you want this always on top. And let me launch a game. I'm going to... It's cl close enough. All right. All right. So we double click. Um... Minecraft. There we go. Um, and then you can adjust uh, the size of it with, uh, there's these little squares in the corner that you can use to adjust the size of your screen. So you can make it bigger, smaller, uh, just by clicking on it. Unfortunately, I don't know how to show that per se, but, um, and then when you click on like your test recording, so like you can see it here when I click on this, you see how it has like those little like squares. Yeah, you'll get that with everything. Even with the desktop, you can see that there is squares there in order to adjust. Uh, and right now I have my audio down for my desktop, but you can like turn that on. Uh, use settings over here in order to adjust where it's coming from and like how you want, uh, if you need any like cancellations or whatever. So like over here we have filters on mine and you can see that I have like uh, a compressor gain and noise suppression. Like I just, it's not even like well set up. It's just how I have it set up. It's something you're just gonna have to fiddle with. Um, but for the most part, once you have like your game and yourself on screen, you are ready to just hit the, uh, the go live button at the bottom as long as you have it set up for whichever streaming service uh, you were signed up for, be it YouTube or Twitch. Yes. 
my goodness, this felt like a long, drawn-out thing, and I don't even think it was that helpful. But if for some reason this has helped you out in any which way, then um, please let me know. Subscribe. If you have any questions, you're free to ask me. Also, I moved my... Uh, I moved my thing. It was like small. All right, there we go. Uh, but yeah, if you have like any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below, and I will uh, see you in my next dumb tutorial. <laughs> Alright, bye.